pharmaceuticals. Okay, so in natural products we have synquinine, anti-malarial drug quinidine. Okay, so like that. Then uh, isoquinoline containing this isoquinoline containing papaverine. Okay, opium alkaloid. Uh, opium means your opiates. Opium. Uh, sorry, no, it's a food uh, like uh, drugs. Papaverine. Morphine. In morphine also you can find the uh, uh, isoquinoline. I think. Then tetrahedral isoquinoline you can find in lycorine anti tumor drug. Special products with this is in our laboratory. Due to its high medicinal benefits, we have done uh, synthesis of all these uh, alkaloids in laboratories and we do use for the uh, curing diseases, different diseases. Now, pharmaceuticals chloroquine, anti malarial drug, chloroquine. Okay, here in quinine, we have replaced or we have modified this uh, structure. Uh, somehow, but uh, uh, quinoline moiety is as it is. So chloroquine, anti-malarial drug. Quinine is also anti-malarial drug. So modification, maybe that one is giving more benefits. Then cyanin dye. Okay, control of pinworm infection. Dye we do say I don't know why they put the name dye, but cyanin dye control of pinworm infection. Uh, having quinolinium salt. Okay, here quinoline is present and positively charged nitrogen atom. And uh, now ciprofloxacin here, ciprofloxacin. This one, maybe you know the uh, structure, or maybe you know this name also. Different uh, pharmaceutical industry they do synthesize this one, ciprofloxacin antibiotic. This one is antibiotic, ciprofloxacin having quinoline as a moiety. Okay, so you, if you will find everywhere is quinoline or quinolone, okay, uh, this this moil molecule, tetrahydroisoquinoline. Containing quinqua, quinapril. Then catalytic synthesis, quinolins, uh, DQ, DHDQ, PHAL. So that one we have seen this type of quinolins. Uh, chiral catalyst, we, we do use such things for the, as a chiral catalyst. Uh, to synthesize these things at laboratory level, it's highly cost, it's too much costly. It's uh, only 5 milligram or 10 milligram cost thousands of rupees or uh, maybe in lakhs cost will be there but they are very effective for asymmetric transformation reactions okay so summary of this one these are some uh, bioactive or pharmaceutically important molecules uh, again the same thing quinine anti malarial natural product isolated from the bark of cinchona tree just before some time so we have seen that bark of cinchona tree chloroquine also we have seen as uh, so completely synthetic anti malarial drug uh, that has a quinoline system found in quinine parasite resistance in now in you know, a problem. Papaverine, we have seen isoquinoline containing papaverine. Next one, drugs which contains quinoline or isoquinoline. Here we have quinoline moiety. So name uh, Zingulair, okay, uh, the Merck company is synthesizing this one. This is for asthma and allergies, we do use this type of uh, drugs. Then hydroxychloroquine. Okay, hydroxychloroquine. So, company okay, 146. So, disease malarial uh, erythromatous rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, so these are the some uh, biological active. This one, so malarial malaria, how malaria can affect the our world. So, approximately 500 million cases of malaria each year and one to three billion deaths. Uh, each year okay so this is it's malaria is uh, deadly disease disease is caused by protozoans parasites genius okay so this is mosquito uh, how the that mosquito is um, uh, comes into the uh, after is how is the generation and how that one is developing parasite this is spread by the anopheles mosquito anopheles mosquito you know it's very well so synchona papivins synchona tree and we have to extract this synchona alkaloid from this synchona bark or leaves. Okay, so which acts as an anti malarial drug. So, all this is with the uh, what are the biological properties and in which biologically active compound quinoline is present. So now, we will go for the physical properties. This colorless hygroscopic liquid smells similar to the pyridine. Quinoline is only sparingly soluble in water but miscible with nearly all organic solvents. Quinoline, when exposed to light for a longer duration, turns yellow and subsequently brown. 
boiling point of quinoline at 760 mm was found to be 231.1 degree centigrade its freezing point is minus 14.94 uh, density of quinoline is 1.08 dipole moment quinoline has been determined both in vapor phase and in the liquid phase so vapor phase dipole moment 2.290 d and uh, in ccl4 it was 2.27 d both quinoline and isoquinoline are planar in 10 pi electron aromatic systems okay these two are aromatics but uh, okay in which all atoms are expected to hybridize containing nitrogen also and contribute one electron each in orthogonal p orbitals for delocalization over the rings uh, quinoline is aromatic with resonance energy 198 198 kilojoule per mole respectively so here also in quinoline also quinoline also the lone pair which is present on the nitrogen atom that one is not taking part in the uh, aromatic sex state so that's why uh, that one is easily available for the donation so as we have seen in uh, pyridine uh, that this lone pair uh, won't take part in the aromatic sex state it uh, easily available for the uh, uh, donation abstraction of proton okay so pyridine pk value 5.2 dipole moment pointing towards the nitrogen atom piperidine 1.1711 uh, here quinoline pk value 4.9 isoquinoline 5.4 okay so here i we have uh, given the comparative data with each other acridine okay anthracene containing uh, anthracene isoelectronic with anthracene pk 5.5 so quinoline is 4.9 nine so maybe question may be like that uh, whether pyridine is more basic or quinoline is more basic okay so uh, such type of questions might have comes in your final examination so structure resonance structures of the quinoline here so here are the resonating structure i have given uh, these are the uh, there is no but they have changed the positions of this carbon carbon uh, double bonds in benzene ring okay so pay attention how three different structures they have drawn for the resonating we can we have to say them as a resonating structures of quinoline so structure first second and third are of lower energy okay they are more stable as they are lower energy however additional charge charge structures fifth to eighth okay fourth to eighth sorry fourth to eighth now they are real resonating additional charges have created on the electronic nitrogen atom uh, the dipole moment of the quinoline is 2.10 d which confirms the presence of charge separation within the ring okay so um, these are the different resonating structure out of that one on first three are lower energy because there is no clear cut separation of the charges next one so now we will go for the uh, electrophilic substitution in case of uh, quinoline. Okay, so that one is a really important thing. Electrophilic substitution in case of uh, quinoline. So here I have given quinoline on electrophilic substitution. Now we have different sites for the electrophilic substitution, but uh, before some time we have seen that uh, pyridinyl ring is electron deficient and benzenoid ring is electron rich, as we have seen in the in our second or third slide so obviously uh, electrophilic attack we do we do show attack on uh, benzenoid ring over here okay so first we will see when electrophile will attack at the fifth position it means in this position so when electrophile at a fifth position it leads to the uh, two different resonating structure okay so pay attention over here and uh, when electrophile attack at the Sixth position. Okay, this is sixth position. So only one resonating structure forms. See, pay attention that this structure, this pyridine ring, is aromatic over here. So this aromaticity, this structure. So you can say maybe this uh, this carbon atom can shift over here, and this positive charge can shift here. But this is not possible because we cannot break this aromaticity of the pyridine ring. Uh, it's uh, it becomes a fully unstable molecule and this is not possible it's unfavorable to disturb this aromaticity of this ring okay. so we have to play with when this, that one is attacking at six position this uh, positive charge is located only on this one only on this fifth position so only one resonance structure can create over here 
so that one is also not forming and they are sh uh, shown here they are less stable okay so when electrophile attacks at the seventh position now fifth sixth seventh then also only one structure is forming that one is also not forming they have shown it's not possible less stable these structures the both structures are less stable when electrophile attack at the sixth and seventh position so less stable molecules less stable resonance structure forms almost if they don't form so that's why attack at the 6th uh, and 7th position is not possible and now last position for attack it's the 8th position and when electrophile attacks or ele getting attack at the 8th position the uh, what uh, resonant two resonant structure they do form and uh, that's why the electrophilic attack uh, more predominantly occurs at the fifth and eighth position okay so uh, electrophilic substitution reaction do not occur in do not occur in pi deficient pyridine ring of quinoline so uh, pyridine ring is electron deficient and as electrophile is also electron deficient so electron deficient electron deficient cannot work so we have to search for electron rich benzenoid ring will react with the electrophile Okay. so it becomes even more electron deficient by protonation in acidic medium when nitrogen is getting protonated it becomes still more electron deficient so electrophilic attack at this pyridinyl ring is highly impossible next one in acidic medium preferentially electrophilic substitution occurs in the benzene ring okay so for the electrophilic substitution reaction in quinoline ring in benzenoid ring here we need highly acidic medium we need highly acidic medium and under only highly acidic medium